Number 26, explain why the neutralization reaction of a strong acid and a weak base gives a weakly acidic solution. Okie dokie. So this one's going to kind of be like a theoretical idea, like a concept. There's really no math involved here. Um, so the answer is basically going to be words. I will show it to you in a balanced equation, but then whatever words you want to add as well for your answer, go right ahead. Now, just remember that whenever we're talking about a neutralization reaction, it's always going to be the combination of two things, right? Neutralization is always when an acid is reacting with a base, right? Now, in this case, they're setting us up. They're saying that we need a strong acid and we need a weak base. Well, pick any one of your six strong acids, right? Could be HCl, could be HBr. HI, I don't care, right? There's three others. So let's just make it easy for ourselves. Let's just say that we're going to pick HCl. Now we just have to pick a weak base. Now there's six strong bases. You just got to pick a base that isn't part of that category, that aren't part of those six. Um, you could pick anything, you know, CN minus, that's not on your list of six strong bases. And the one that we're going to use here is ammonia which is NH3. Whenever you see ammonia, NH3, it's always going to be, you know, chances are it's going to be acting as a base more than it is an acid. So NH3 is a weak base. Okay, so we have these two together. So we have HCl reacting with NH3. Okie dokie. So there's going to be a, obviously a reaction, right? So a yield sign. And now we just have to talk about it in terms of an acid and a base, right? A Bronsted-Lowry and a Bronsted base, right? So here's the acid, here's the base. Remember, what does an acid do, right? The acid is always going to give up its hydrogen. We learned all of this in the previous section. So when you write your conjugate, right, all you have to do is just write whatever your acid is minus one hydrogen, because this hydrogen is going to be donated to the base. All that this exchange is is just an acid and a base reaction in which the base takes the hydrogen. So in this case, I'm going to pretend that this hydrogen is not there. The chlorine is the only thing that's left. So I'm just going to say Cl. And remember, when you remove a hydrogen, you minus one to your charge. So overall, HCl was neutral. There was a zero in the upper right-hand corner. So zero minus one is a negative one. So I'll just put a negative, right? And now, and maybe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, hold on a minute, I'm just going to color code this because remember, guys, the acid always turns into the conjugate base. So red for acid, B for base. So this would be the conjugate base. And now we just have to do the same for NH3. So this is now going to come over here. Cl minus plus something. Remember, the base is always the one that's taking the hydrogen. So you're just going to have one more hydrogen. And if you're, you know, adding on hydrogens, you become an acid. And since we're on the product side, it's a conjugate acid. So NH4. Do your charge. Remember, when you're adding hydrogens, you think of it as a plus one charge. So zero, zero plus one is just a plus one. And this is a polyatomic we know and love. So NH4, ammonium, is always going to be a plus one. Now here comes why we're only going to be resulting in a weakly acidic solution. This is all that we need to know here. If you started off with the strong acid, which is what we had here, this one was strong. The conjugate that it makes is so, so, so weak. Basically, the idea here is that the stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. But if we're talking about really, really, really strong acids here, the conjugates are going to be really, 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 really weak. 
And if it's really, 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 really weak, we tend to just say that it's basically very close to being neutral, not acidic nor basic, not even basic at all. So the Cl- minus that is being produced is neutral. It has no bearing on acidity. So in terms of what this resulting solution is going to be, we basically like cancel it out. We don't even like think about it. But now, since we have a base, and it was a weak base, just know that weak bases will result in weak conjugate acids. They're not very, very, very strong, so their conjugate can't cancel out and become neutral. So if you start with a weak base, your conjugate will still have some acidity to it. And this would be, oh, and I forgot to write conjugate acid. So this is the conjugate acid. But if you have a weak base, the conjugate acid that you make still has some acidity to it because you did not start with a strong base. So this would be acidic. And in terms of pH, this is the only thing that's going to be dropping that number. And this is why you will be getting a weakly acidic solution mainly because conjugates of strong just have neutral conjugates, so they have nothing to do with acidic or basic properties. This is the only thing that's giving you that acidic solution. And it's because, in our example, that we produced NH4, a weak acid, that's why the resulting solution is slightly acidic. Hopefully this makes sense. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Let's keep working hard. And I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.